So we are discussing with the topic uh, hardening methods. So here uh, we will see today the os forming and os tempering hardening method. So here in this diagram, you can see the first diagram. This is the time temperature transformation diagram for the steel. That is the uh, represent the transformation phases of the austenite. So A represent the austenite. So austenite to uh, perlite transformation, austenite to bainite transformation, and austenite to martensite transformation is represented by the time temperature transformation. So in us os forming uh, hardening method, initially there will be the sudden cooling of the uh, metal or steel from AC3 line up to this uh, before the Martin static start temperature that is a uh, 210 degrees Celsius. So before that, for a particular period of time, temperature remains constant and some mechanical treatment is provided that is a forging or rolling is there. That is the plastic deformation occurs here in the material and after that that steel becomes cooled to the room temperature by the quenching media so here before the starting of the martensitic transformation the metal is treated mechanically by using the forging process or rolling process in the austenitic phase so here this phase represent the forging or rolling process that is a mechanical treatment on the material just before the starting of the martensitic temperature or conversion starts from austenite to martensite. So such type of mechanical treatment or process of the hardening is called as a os forming. Next is a os tempering. So this is again a, the time temperature transformation diagram for the transformation of the uh, austenite into the perlite, bainite and martensite. So here you can see for in case of austempering, uh, there will be the sudden cooling of the steel or metal by using the water as a coolant media so that it will bypasses the nose of the TTT diagram. So here you can see the clearly bypassing that is a, the this uh, cooling curve does not touches to the nose of the TTT diagram. So here initially there will be the sudden cooling. After that, keeping at that temperature for a long period of time before martensitic start temperature so that up to the upper bainite or lower bainite region, lower bainite region, the tempering is carried out. So for long period of time, the temperature remains constant. So that is called as a os tempering. And after that, the cooling is carried out to the room temperature. So here in this region, we will again get the Martin static structure by using the hardening method, but the tempering is carried out in the bainite phase. The tempering is carried out for the bainite phase means here austenite is going to change into the austenite plus alpha plus C that is the lower bainite. After that, the temperature remains constant just before the start of the martensitic temperature. So in this region, the temperature is a lower bainite temperature. In this region, temperature is upper bainite temperature. So uh, in lower bainite temperature, the de temperature remains constant before the martensitic start temperature. So that it is called as a ost tempering, ost tempering. Then it will cool to the room temperature so that here we'll get the desired properties of the material in the martensite phase. Next factors affecting the hardening methods. So the properties of steel developed by hardening depends on the various factors like chemical composition of the steel, size and shape of the steel part, hardening cycle, that is the heating rate, hardening temperature, holding time and cooling rate. Then homogeneity and grain size of austenite, then quenching media, then surface condition. So these are the factors affecting on the hardening methods.
Next is the defects in hardening and remedies. So the low hardness and strength after hardening. So that is the one of the defect in hardening. And what are the remedies that we will see? So the causes of low hardening are low hardening temperatures, insufficient soaking time, delayed quenching, slow cooling rate, and a retained austenite. Because of these reasons, the low hardness and strength after hardening is there in the material. So to avoid that, uh, remedies are, uh, we have to provide the sub-zero treatment, then avoid the delay in tempering, then uh, selection of the proper cooling rates. So these are the remedies to avoid the low hardness and strength after hardening. So uh, during hard, uh, hardening or after hardening, we have to provide the sub-zero treatment. That is the treatment of the material below the zero degree Celsius. That is nothing but minus temperature conditions. Then second uh, defect in hardening is the soft spots. The causes of soft spots are localized decarburization, then inhomogeneous microstructure, dirt, improper handling during quenching, then large component leading to non-uniform heating, etc. So these are the causes of soft spots in hardening. Then to avoid <coughs> the soft spots, the remedies are spray quenching. So spray quenching is the remedies for the, to avoid the soft spot. Next is the oxidation and decarburization. So here the causes of oxidation and decarburization is the high temperature heating in the furnace open to atmosphere. So whenever high temperature heating in the furnace open to atmosphere is carried out for the material, the oxidation and decarburization occurs. That is also one type of a defect in the material. Then remedies, what are the remedies to avoid the oxidation and decarburization? The salt bath, the removing the decarburized layer by machining operation, then copper plating, ceramic plating or coating. These are the remedies to avoid the oxidation and decarburization. Next is a quench cracks. So the causes of quench cracks are a non-uniform cooling. Due to the non-uniform cooling, means if cooling is cooling rate is varies, then there will be the cracks present in the material. So the, that is the main cause or defect in, in the hardening process. Then the remedies or how to avoid the quench cracks. So to provide the high temperature tempering. Then adding alloying element to the lower cooling rates. Then avoid sharp changes in the parts. Then immediate tempering. So these are the remedies for the quench cracks or to avoid the quench cracks in defects. So these are the various defects in the hardening and their remedies. That is a low hardness and strength after hardening, spots, uh, soft spots, oxidation and decarburization, quench cracks, etc. Next is a distortion and wrapping. So the distortion, that is a shape change, so in this change in the size and shape of the heat treatment component due to thermal and structural changes, wrapping is the bending. So asymmetric distortion of component after heat treatment. So that is also the another type of the defect. So cause of the distortion, uh, increasing the volume of the steel due to the martensitic transformation, the distortion occurs. Then causes of wrapping, change in the volume during the heating and cooling, non-uniform heating and cooling, internal stresses, lowering component into a quenching bath in inclined position. So these are the causes of the wrapping. Next is remedies. So slow cooling in martensitic region 
and next is a heating and quenching uniformly apply surface hardening wherever possible so these are the remedies for removing the distortion and wrapping in the material so so slow cooling martensitic region then heating and quenching uniformly then applying surface hardening wherever possible so these are the in this diagram also you can see the wrapping process or wrapping uh, effect so there are two types of uh, defects in hardening in the final or last one that is a distortion shape will go into change and wrapping that is nothing but bending of the uh, component occurs due to the hardening so thank you for the watching the defects in the hardening and their remedies